half. He's an outstanding coach, an outstanding man as well. Very young Brazilian in his ways, he's calm in his approach. When the team won the World Cup, he didn't want to get in team photos, he wanted the players to take the glory. There's a World Cup winner and the man who's appeared at eight World Cups, Mao the goalkeeper, exchanging pennants. As we get set for kickoff, and if you're new to beach soccer, let me give you the lowdown on the rules very quickly. We don't play a game of two halves, no cliches here, no, no, no. It's a game of three thirds, 12 minutes each. Rolling clock, we do stop it over free kicks, which are all unopposed and direct. In terms of the pitch markings, obviously the blue tapes are the touchlines, the flags the mark halfway are red, and then the flags that are the edge of the box, you can see there left and right are yellow, and the goalkeeper can take the ball in his hands any way you like across that area. Expect goals, average nine a game, average is shot about every 30 seconds. When Brazil play, they get those stats, double them, they're about right. Because when they flow, boy, do they flow. Not much gets in their way. Their only loss in the last two years was against Russia, who were also at this tournament. Well, for that, they've beaten everybody they've played. Europe, South America, Asia, anywhere. That yellow shirt will travel and travels very, very well. In fact, there's very few beach soccer tournaments internationally in Brazil anymore. All right, everybody with the national team, they've all spread all over the world. Here we go. On the way. The shot, and there's the goal! Well, I promise you, goals! And so today, Catarino has found the back of the net with that volley. And you just see the difference with Brazil. When they kicked off there, it was with such pace. Normally, players flick it up. Someone has a shot, it gets blocked here. There's movement. There's pace, there's power, there's accuracy. Exactly what we expect from Brazilian beach soccer. And it's just a little twist and turn from Tatinha that did the damage. So, how many seconds on the clock there? Five, are they sure? Morocco nil, Brazil one. Well, Brazilian in its style. But the end result definitely wasn't Al Hajui, the man who is, plays his beach soccer in Europe, captain of the team. Sure, and he has got a few skills in his locker. Matinha, having set up the goal. Skip, dance across the San Brazil, and the movement is just outstanding. It's that rotation across the back line is just brilliant time and time again. Players can rotate left to right. Can also cover in very quickly as well. Mao watches it and just pulls his hands away. Sorry, 24 year old Greek goalkeeper with the shot. That's here. Good turn. Rodrigo, 26 and turns. Step over, steps on, round, puts it with the outside of fourth, it's on the tape, it's fine. Continue. Mal, scored many a goal himself from that position. Goalkeepers score regularly in beach soccer, some more so than others. He is definitely one of those. Scored the World Cup final as well. Continue. Finally, Brazilian mistake. Abagli can't make the most of it, though they do have possession now, Morocco. I hope he was looking away there for a second. And he was kind of way too good. Now, Rodrigo whistles wide. And a number nine. And he's been there and done it. A couple of World Cups under his belt. As Brazil are reigning world champions, reigning Mundialito champions, reigning South American champions. And they play teams that can really start getting close to them. Maybe a Paraguay, the host, who spent a lot of money on their preparations. Teams of South American teams. Team yet. Tadinho plays it forward, two yellow shirts, closing down on the goalkeeper. 
Still blocking the end, it stays in. Everyone looking for the throw, it wasn't given, so he didn't go out. Rodrigo eventually through to Shorey, the goalkeeper. He's already covered in sand. And he could be in for a busy night. And that's hopeful rather than anything else. That's the overhead, that's a save, and it was a good, good save. Surely the goalkeeper did really well there, he's going back into his goal. Just gets two hands to him, pushes it away. The yellow tide continues. Felipe, now look at those feet, super quick. Monsignor. Looks one way, plays it the other, gives it the eyes as they say. Antonio. Oh, oh, just wide. Rock over the rear, 4 8 forward. Abotelli back to his goalkeeper. Doesn't really want him back, and that's loops, so it gives Brazil time to close there. Needs to be a flatter throw in that position. Well, the old adage from a goalkeeper is, when in doubt, kick it out. And he's most certainly done that there. Well, very nearly in you with the goal. It's bounced across the sand in front of the goalkeeper. Looks a little bit shell-shocked at the moment. But as it stands, there's still just a goal in it. And Miles out really quickly there. Marge do it did really well. Get a shot away. Well, it's kind of hit and hope that corner really. All teams you'll see them signal one hand, two hands, but they go near far post. It's a real purposeful movement. Seems to be that from Morocco there. Brazil now. Three on three for a second. Well, it's given. He's just dragged him across on his left shoulder. Felipe trying to gain an advantage. One of the newer players to the squad here. It's so, so difficult to get into that Brazilian squad. So many of their players play abroad. Russian League, Italian League, UAE. Wow, to adjust his position and beat it away. Felipe will return. Junior. Antonio. Both the feet again one way, then the other. And a change of pace. Machino. Felipe back. Felipe waits. Not a good ball to him, though. Halfway point, for most of this first period. Brazil should be dominating possession at the moment. Moment to relief for Morocco. You watch that shot again, and just took a step too early there, Mao. Well, not enough that he couldn't recover. Just a good bit of movement on the ball. Did fool him, obviously. Well, it's not given. It's not given. Brazil now, two versus one, surely. And it is. Well, he didn't even look at it. He put it in the back of the net. So, so cheeky. But perfectly done. Marcinho points to the sky. Dedicates the goal to somebody. Makes those fans very happy. Watch this again. Let's have a look as he goes past the goalkeeper. That look to his left. Showboating is his finest. Well, there's some beautiful yachts outside in this outside of this stadium. But none as good a showboat as that one. Looking over his left shoulder, plays it with his left into the back of the net. And, uh, there is a phrase for that in English, but I couldn't possibly use it during the broadcast. 
Rodrigo can't get on the end of it. So, chance for Morocco to build. Moving out of the hand, so it means a free kick. On the halfway line to Brazil. So, the error really from Morocco. I'd be surprised how many teams make that error. All three kicks in beach soccer unopposed. Okay. And direct. When the likes of Rodrigo's taking one. On, It'll be a pretty lethal com go. combination. Rodrigo steps up. Oh well, you're expecting nothing else really. By Brazilian standards, the celebrations are muted. Get a feeling they just know they're in charge here. Outside, inside of the foot, I should say, just kills it past the goalkeeper. The replay doesn't do it justice because it has so much power on it. Something that was hit with the inside of the foot. It's not looking good for Morocco. Morocco nil, Brazil three. He's not going to, going to improve his shots yeah. like that. Now. Okay, now for Brazil, two on two. In terms of numbers, but the pass wasn't there. Rodrigo probably a little bit too far forward. They're coming, hanging back a touch and then attacking. Vitality. Oh, just urge his concentration from his teammates defensively. They're all about the attack at the moment. Continue. Just denied by the divots, shall we say. It's a block in the face. Is okay, though. Skips across the sand to the far side. Well, Morocco appreciate any ideas of what to do in this situation. Now, the take. Yeah. Uh, ever so slightly casual Brazil. They're taking maybe some unnecessary risks as well with the ball in that final third. Just feel like can get away with it. Rare defensive header. Catarina. I think they can get some success, don't they, Morocco, with these throw ins. Teams often do that, they use them as corners. Pretty simple to do in beach soccer. Brazil now. Rodrigo. Down in the corner. Well, you can tell the goalkeeper doesn't agree with that decision. Oh, and that is the finish. Well, it's as scruffy as a Brazilian finish gets. So, so easy for Brazil at the moment. Corner, goalkeeper not concentrating, and the bounce in the sand. Swings Catarino. Gets himself on the score sheet. And Brazil score yet again with three minutes remaining in the period. It is Morocco nil, Brazil four. 
Once again, welcome to our World Beach Games. Coach Morocco now, I want players, what do you do? What is your damage limitation plan for this? Is there one you just keep trying to play as you play? Bagley, back to his goalkeeper who has the shot. Not a bad effort in the end. A rare moment to miss coordination by Brazil. Once you back to goalkeeper. Well, the man they're going to look for each time is the veteran. But he cannot lead the line on his own. Two number 11s clashing in. Decent tackle in the end to win the ball back. Well, Bagley's done pretty well so far for Morocco. Now, Kini can't get on the end of it. There's only one outcome when you know so much under the cosh. Great save by the goalkeeper who's really well to get off his line and two strong hands to the ball. You know, one outcome when you're under the cosh like this is the game wears on. Fatigue. Once that sets in, Brazil will just tear you apart. That's a good save, wasn't it, by the goalkeeper? Get yeah, the feeling he's gonna get the opportunity for more of those today. Yeah, Enough for that moment, he goes wide. Tom Antonio. Sorry. Good throw forwards. Overhead kick was a bit wooden and stiff though, wasn't it? And that's just miscoordinated. Punchy is another player who's been on the ball more than any of his teammates. And Al Bagley. Oh, the Lions share a possession from Morocco when they do eventually get the ball. Antonio. Kini lets it go. Oh, looking to get away with that Morocco. There's a push on Felipe there. Gotta be. Oh, it's a great block in the end. Brave of Bagley again. He's been excellent, the 23 year old so far in this game. Oh. Rami, that time with the block. Overhead off the bar this time, that saves them. Well, that will be one mighty relief for Morocco. For Brazil, things go into plan. And the break is Morocco nil, Brazil four. That's Brazil almost perfect shots on goal five, four scored. 
Morocco one shot on goal. That seems like a dim and distant memory now. It was Mal who saved it to his left on a free kick. Young fans stretching off there. Very late here at the moment. They've stretched and obviously ready to go. There's some Moroccan fans there. I think it's a case of well, we're here, might as well enjoy it. There you go. Now the floss is going. And he's good. That's right. Look at that. No, Mum, I'm not doing the floss so you can get on television. Yep. Raise the child up like a trophy. There you go. So the Rocket fans there. It's amazing, isn't it? Your team could be losing 17 0. And as soon as they put a TV camera on you, everyone's super happy. Maybe we should try that in life when people are just unhappy. Put a TV camera on them, instant happiness. Well, they're dancing to two different songs there, I think. He's got the rhythm. Okay, now, uh, oh, so lost herself in the music there. Oh, you can see it's not long, it's gonna be a dance. Okay. Oh, there's half a floss going here. No. The Land Morocco's okay, challenge in the first half really. Just didn't quite get going. So Brazil first down the sand, desperate to outscore each other. Morocco will be thinking about tunneling out of the stadium. Luckily enough for us, nobody had a spade, so they're back onto the sand. As you see there, the mascot, Dolphy the Dolphin. Sure it took a while to name uh, that particular mascot. We've not seen him, her, it, making appearances yet. But each game's here, 13 different sports. There's basketball, believe it or not, not on sand. Skateboarding and there's wakeboarding and the usual water sports you'd expect by the beach. And right now we're on the beach soccer. Morocco, nil, Brazil, four. You may want to watch through your fingers if you're a Moroccan fan. It's not going to be easy. This is one of the closest they've come. Shot number seven for them. Only one of those on target, though. Alash Dewey. So lifts it to the far post. Now, when you look at the corner being taken there, you can see Morocco have got no plan on the corner. There's no signalling for the side. There's no one hand, two hands, number of fingers held up. It's a decent effort, a last second save, second shot on target. Miles being excellent, so he's had to keep his concentration as you can imagine. He's not too much to do. Nice doing. It's going to go for the overhead. A veteran player reaching the end of his beach soccer career. Still does go out and play in Europe though. Maybe in France and Italy and the likes. You can imagine a beach soccer player good beach soccer player is a hired hand or a gun for hire that sounds more more what it's like they get picked up by different teams around Europe around the world watch that shot drift wide it's the reflection of a yellow shirt so it is a corner they go play the teams worldwide for like a month maybe a tournament and then off they go to the next one and for the likes of these Brazilian players hugely in demand in Russia Italy, so they can play for three or four clubs a year, as well as the international team, and as they are Brazil, there's plenty of beach soccer for them to play. Usually, things are nicely dovetailed, so leagues and internationals don't clash too much, so players can... Oh, it's a decent effort, well, Morocco have come out with a completely different attitude here. Mouse second save from him. And at this point in the statistics, this period, Morocco lead with two shots on target to nil. You need those to be converted into goals.
No, oh, goalkeeper panic there. Oh. That far out his goal and you had to shoot. <laughs> Oh. Sorry, just couldn't get over the ball. There, he's almost by accident rather than design, he got out that far. It's a good save, very good save, good switch over the bar. Yeah, both ends of the goalkeeper. Shot as well was excellent. Got to be at a far post. Well, there's organization in the corner. That's exactly how you do it. Antonio just waiting at the far post. Heads it home. I'm sure we see the replay here. We'll see a little bit of movement, a bit of difference. There you go. As everybody goes forward, it's the two steps back. See you later. Well, that's like a bunch of 10 year olds marking a corner. Three of them, as soon as he saw him go to keep the ball, run forward. Brazil, it just opens things up nicely at the far post. Brazil capitalise. Morocco nil, Brazil five. As we look there, we can see the coaching staff on the bench. And you see leaning just, he saw his head there, leaning to his right, just discussing things quietly. The Brazil's coach, he never ever, he's bouncing up and down, shouting at his players. He's very un-Brazilian like in his, his mannerisms and his way of working. Very calm, very collected, very humble. Oh, oh do very nearly got away. He'd love to score against Brazil. Antonio. Steps on it, he thought about the volley for one second. Marachino. Oh, that's rather a panic shot than a measured one. It's got to be for Brazil now. I think rather casual there. That's the man who had a look one way and shot the other. Marachino. Too casual again there. You can afford to be casual in these type of games, but when you come up against the likes of Russia, Spain, Italy, you can't afford to be casual. And if you're in those habits, it's difficult to break them. Looking here with the shot, the World Cup veteran, World Cup winner. Believe it or not. The last World Cup of Brazil won in the Bahamas was their first for a good while. Portugal had won it before that. Russia twice. So for the coach Gilberto, it's so important to bring that trophy home. Now with the shot. It was rather old for the next execution. Salami. Just couldn't get any power behind that shot. When they talk about football coming home. With England. For Brazil, it's beach soccer coming home, of course, that's where the sport was invented. Perfected. Still to this day, perfected. As they just proved there. Well, he missed just before. But Achino was not going to miss that time. Down's the goalkeeper. The angle gets tighter and tighter as he goes. He's got enough pace to get there. Slot it home. Goalkeeper did his best to foul him. That wasn't happening. Quick succession. Two goals for Brazil. Morocco nil. Brazil six. Ideas for Morocco, please. I want to go on Twitter and give us those ideas. I think you should probably use the hashtag Pray for Morocco. Now, oh. can you? Can you? Doesn't need to get the block in. But it's Brazilian team heavily invested in. They've got a good backroom staff and also. 
2017 he brought in sports code which is well you will be familiar with it because it's when they talk about all the stats the players and how far they've run and how many sprints they did and twists and turns etc and it's all logged on a system that is sports code and presumably the first beach soccer team to use that and their coach is a highly tactical coach he likes his team to play with spirit and the joy as they always do in Brazil but he's highly tactical as well he looks at what the opponents do he looks at how his players move and their movement off the ball is just like nothing else you'll see Coutinho over to the food truck area I think that surprised a few people with hot dogs Rush there. Nothing but they're letting go now for Brazil. He's got good feet, doesn't he? Another chance for Morocco. He opens up. Good save, Rapadilla, and pounces on them. Potential rebound for Morocco. And Bagley really well there to get away, and his shot was good. The goalkeeper was better. Look at that turn with the outside of the foot. No. I feel there's someone there who's the future of beach soccer for Morocco. We're watching him right now. Bagley just 23 years of age. I think once this league is instituted for Morocco next season, there'll be players who are playing a lot more beach soccer. Okay, time now is exactly four minutes. Continue. His first appearance on the sand for Rafinha. You can tell he's got no sweat on him. Look at that. Rafinha waits for our two time. Well, that was looking like the spectacular. Rodrigo just couldn't get the finishing touch on it. Right shoulder. Coutinho, the famous number 10 for Brazil. Coutinho, oh, didn't touch it, hit the sand. Coutinho wants it, took it a risk there, there's still players going on and off. Brazil do this a lot where you just see one forward player, but one in behind him. Normally just two and two. There's a chance, got to be. Oh, he hesitated for a second there. He should have done better. Martinho is going to get out of this hand. Well, he should be getting a yellow card for that. Yes, yeah, actually on the cheek to go down. He probably hit himself. Hurt himself when he landed on the floor because it was that far he dived. This will be interesting. Let's have a look at the replay. Well, he's got the face, hasn't he? The grimace perfected. He's rubbing the leg. Nondescript points of injury, yeah. Let's have a look. There we go. It all started with the perfect dive. Right, Deserve the yellow card for that, to be well, honest with you. That's something you want in a tournament like this, too, and you suspend it for the next game, and if that's the final, you'd be very upset. All right. Two minutes. That's maybe in future that the beach games could stick a wakeboard on his feet, and if he does that kind of movement in the air, he'll score quite a few points. Dilla. Antonio. 
Francisco Antonio is playing number three in this tournament, one for Spain, one for Brazil. Fun fact. Okay, so throw to Brazil. To bring down. It's a good block. Yeah. It's a good block. Okay. Well, no surprise, it's a good time there with a head injury. It beats Shocker, it tends to be like to Brazil come out absolutely firing for the first period. Get a good few goals up, and then the second period. Well, it's not a rest period, it's one that they just ease off a touch before third and final period really going for it. Now, the really going for it in this case, the coach has to decide, is it worth it? Do you tell players to take it easy? Do you suddenly make more substitutions than normal? Or do you send a message to the other teams that we're here to destroy? Clean sheet would be nice as well. Nice for Padilla to get some game time, it's all his mouths there, well, he's got to do something yeah. now, and he has, yeah. that was a brilliant save, so brave to stood and spread his body, he took a shot right to the midriff, and I think as gentlemen, we all know what you're risking when you do that, yeah, take some bravery to do it. Really good save, those Morocco fans are... Ironically laughing, I think, to themselves. A lot more Moroccans than there is Brazilians here. Of course, this tournament being in Qatar, there seems to be a, yeah. every single hey. nationality hey. is available. Yeah. And here, had a good contingent of El Salvador fans in the game previous to this. All right, here we go. Maybe this is the one. And this is something now for what these for? Moroccan expats to cheer. Uh, no, nope, is the answer to that question. Oldest player on the pitch there with that free kick. 21 seconds to go. To the final 10. Snefer, Salami. Brazil have got to do it and do it right now. Huta saves Morocco. I don't think it's going to save them from the inevitable. It's going to be a pretty heavy defeat. And then the second period, Morocco nil, Brazil six. Phones around. It's, kind of, it's kind of like a Barry Manilow concert. We just change the music. I still found there smiling. That's a rare sight. So I got the most telling stat I think you'll hear all night. Both teams have had 15 shots. Morocco three on target, Brazil ten. From that, Morocco have not scored. Brazil have scored six. Lesson is 
Being clinical is absolutely everything in beach soccer. Well, he's definitely a Morocco fan. Two coaches that he experienced, Mustafa El Hadoui, he played for Morocco. Mexico 86, played in 94 in the World Cup as well, he played for San Etienne. Raj Casablanca, Nice, Lens, back to the experience. But what has he got right now for his team? What can he bring from a story career to this final period for Morocco? For Gilberto, boys, just more of the same, please. Fantastic Brazilian coach, who was former assistant at the UAE, who were here at his competition. He's also been a consultant at Cristal in Russia, which he said is the best job ever being a coaching beach soccer consultant because if they do well, then it's down to you. And if they don't do well, you just recommend that you're employed for a longer time to get it right. Because you're not actually picking the team, you're just advising the coach on who you should pick. I'm sure we've all experienced that in our particular work life. Consultant comes in, pays, gets paid a fortune, disappears. There's not that much difference. Except to the bank balance of the consultant. So that's confirmation of your scoreline. Read it through your fingers if you're a Moroccan fan. Morocco nil, Brazil six. Morocco wants something, that's the toss to kick off in this period. All the way from Rio, Brazil, and Casablanca. Now the mobile phones are away now. God is dying away because I think those Moroccan fans will want to beat the rush. Friday night is Saturday night, if you like, in Doha. Because the weekend is Friday and Saturday. Thursday is your Friday night. Now bear with me, it used to be Thursday and Friday was your weekend, but they did change it. Anyway, we're in the middle of the weekend here. It's one that Brazil are enjoying. Rest day tomorrow. Opening ceremony of the entire games right. is ongoing. They're really They're kick in with all the sports. It'll be it's exciting stuff here. It's been well supported, this beach soccer. There's a bit of bad publicity for the World Athletics Championships that were here last week about there being very low crowds. Well, here, there's two stadiums going on at once. And at one point, we've been full on both it's getting a little bit late now so some of the younger fans have been taken home maybe some of the older ones are tired as well chance for Brazil and it's cleared by Vitaly that's got our play referee gives it Referee from Azerbaijan, referees in the league there as well. Yeah. All right. the side game. Most of these referees do flip and switch between beach soccer, maybe futsal, or the 11 side game. Well, they do definitely quite a high level as well when it comes to 11 aside. The beauty of it for these referees is there's not too many beach soccer referees and a great chance to travel. <laughs> Rodrigo, oh, there's the finish. Death is the touches. And here, doesn't over celebrate. Thanks, Rodrigo, for the assist. He thinks it into the back of the net. Lucky seven for Brazil. You've got to feel for the goalkeeper there. He absolutely shattered by the end of this game. Confirmation to scoreline, Morocco nil, Brazil seven. So the average number of goals in a beach soccer match is nine. That's both teams, by the way. Shot every 30 seconds is the average. We've exceeded that, and I think we'll exceed the nine goals in a game here. And we've got a funny feeling. It could all be by Brazil. Eyes up, waits. Swing and a miss. There's the overhead. Over it goes. Not badly. Which again. Just a 
not inside the post. You've got to be really inside the post if you're going to get a decent overhead kick on in that kind of position. Angle positions are almost better when you're outside of the post. You need to be shallower to the goal. And they've had some possession in this Brazilian half. And they've retained it. Brazil going for the wholesale change then. Unusual to see that in beach soccer. Four on, four off. But the stronger teams definitely do it because they've got the depth in their squad. Basically what it does is it allows you to keep the tempo high, keep an intense period of pressure on your opponents. Or, in Brazil's case here, change it up because they're not getting possession. If you really want to put a team under the cosh, you, you flip and rotate every four, three, four minutes. So there's four players and they go on and they intensely press the opposition. He's just mixed it up there, Gilberto. Also, he's got that idea now, do I just rest the players? Do I push the players? Does that competition really count to score goals? Does that improve the team spirit? That's a question he can answer because he knows his players inside out. Virginia. Cross, well, goalkeeper struggled with it slightly. No one around, no. Well, let me consider the hammer blow of losing the captain Bruno Xavier he's 166 goals he scored for Brazil he's he's out this he's on the World Cup as well it was not the stuffing out of a lot of teams Brazil no well Padilla had to make that save it was a silly error in the first place being good off his line and quick off his line well that's better on a beach volleyball court really Oh, goalkeeping. Should have been attacking the ball a little bit more. So Brazil, slow, slow and quick. Not too much time on the sand. Rafinha. They're all the players. 23 goals he scored for the team. Not prolific either. That adjustment of feet, isn't it? You look at the difference between the Moroccan players and the Brazilian ones. And the Brazilian ones look like they're playing on above the sand. That's the way to describe it. Morocco players are definitely playing on the sand or stuck in the sand. Save, Padilla. Brazil going for the old head tennis. Oh, goalkeeper did outstandingly well there. Sorry, well, it's a marvellous move by Brazil. One end to the other. Almost that full volley style. And the goalkeeper just spoiled the party. Back to Padilla. Interesting. He fancy a shot from distance. We don't have a shot really for me, the goalkeeper yet. Well, not one that's been on target. Padilla. Padilla again has used the ball in the air nicely. Martinho. Well, I'm not quite sure what he was trying to do there, but I think he was trying to fade it, put the keeper off and fade it into the opposite corner. He was going to dive, but that idea died as soon as he hit his foot. Well, this is interesting from Morocco's goalkeeper. Normally, the goalkeepers push the ball into the sand with their feet and flick it up to shoot. I mentioned before that the, the sand here is not very deep. It sounds silly, but they, they plough it up in Europe and it's very deep, it's almost ankle deep. And it means you can push the ball into the sand as a goalkeeper, as he's trying to do now, and flick it up with ease. Good save. And it's not happening here. So he just... It's a cross, it's the touch. On to Brazil. It's not happening here, so I think it's difficult to do in this sand. It's just not ploughed up enough. Well, two balls on the sand is of no use right now. Morocco can barely kill with one. Well, it looked like it was a foul. Nothing given. But he's don't even wave it away, just ignore it. The save, Panilla again, sticking his claiming goal. He knows that Mao's not going to go on forever. He's 41 years of age. 
the Dillers youngster will be looking to stake that claim as the number one. But as well again, you know, sand in the eye. First time we've had that today. Normally the most common injury for goalkeepers, sand in the face. Again, I think a symptom of this pitch that it's not kicking up as much in the sand because the ball is just not sitting on the same level of soft sand of uh, sand that moves if you like compared to a European beach soccer pitch and I know in Dubai when they played there they imported sand from Europe to put on the pitch because believe it or not even though we're in the desert the sand here is not ideal by the sea it's very very compact very hard so it makes it difficult to play you know, the beach soccer that players are used to playing in these kind of conditions and on this pitch the challenge and he's been more running on the sand he's been less volleys and shots from goalkeepers all the best teams adapt Morocco do they have a chance for a shot on target now again they just drift around the periphery Tell you, good block. Oh, Hachui can't get the other head kick in. Brazil oh, can go straight to the other end. What a genius! Simple finish for him. Bolter lining runs through his head. The Bolter lining runs through Brazil's play. One end to the other, super quick, super simple, a super finish. Hey. Morocco nil, Brazil eight. Some Moroccan fans behind my position here with the flag out, still on their feet. Got to give them a lot of credit. Always get expat fans who are very enthusiastic for their teams because they don't see them very often. And they'll tolerate a lot more than if the team was playing at home. The stadium would be empty if it was in Casablanca this right now. Obviously a corner, I like the way Sorry tried to uh, fool the referee by just running along with the ball. It's only the goal court score, a recent goal score, is a poor corner though. That's for Morocco. Well, Italian was not happy with what he did, so he made up for it. Again, one end to the other in about four seconds. And now he's on the charge to the opposite end. Well, if you want any doubts about an attitude of a team that are 8 0 up and cruising, I think that's just dispelled them. They do not let up. That's a little bit of a harsh free kick, I would say. As he was stretching as he went for the ball. I don't think he's considered a foul there. He's taken a knock to the chin. He's just stretched out, I can't see the foul. Oh. <laughs> I think that sums up how hard the pitch is. Rodrigo coming off with a rock. Just thrown that to the side, unbelievable. At least like a 50 centimeter rock. It's just picked up on the pitch. I said it was pretty hard out there. I didn't think it was that hard. It's an interesting technique. The, Gene, the Gene Simmons of Kiss. Three kick taking technique, I think. Should be a bit embarrassed when he goes back on that one if he watches this game again. Look at it. 
Surely now, there it is finally, and here's the captain, the stalwart of the team. Ahajui finally gets the goal and the Moroccan fans are great and he's celebrating like it's a winner. Poor distribution by the goalkeeper, a lovely finish. This man who's played against a number of these Brazilian players in various European leagues. Loving that. As for the fans, well, the clean sheet is gone. But I don't think there's any danger that Brazil could throw this one away. Morocco 1, Brazil 8. Antonio with the throw. Foul is given in favour of Morocco. Rafinha not happy. Well, he can stay there all night if he wants. Well, for another two minutes twenty anyway. Look at the teams. You think, what would it take for the likes of Morocco to start challenging Brazil? So we're a real powerhouse in Africa because the, the best teams in Africa, the likes of Senegal, the likes of Morocco, are nowhere near their European rivals. Could it be a case of inviting teams like Morocco and Senegal into the Euro Beach Soccer League as guests to improve things? There's obviously different things to talk about in terms of what the different confederations think, but imagine Brazil playing in Europe every season. He's not been on the sound for a while. Makes an appearance for the final two minutes. Of which we're inside right now. Well, if they want to hit double figures, Brazil, they've got to be quick. Good tackle. Brilliant tackle in the end. I think he plays it forward. Another good save by the goalkeeper. Well, he's the man that stood between them and double figures. So he's been brilliant today. Vinha just couldn't find that gap, that ball's width that he needed. We are now rapidly approaching the last minute. He wants to save again, one of many from the goalkeeper. On the tail of two teams here, as we stood at the end of the second period, both teams have had 15 shots on goal. 15 shots I should say of those Morocco had, had three on target Brazil 10 therein lies your difference I see a chance for them to score another consolation goal get another shot on target another positive stat Good save, Padilla again. Really strong right hand. It's quick down as well. A few bubbles on the sand, so you've got to adjust your position at the very last second. 50 seconds. Brazil will want to go. We've got it now. Well, both players down. Rodrigo and the goalkeeper both taking the knock. I'm sure we'll just see a clash of shins when we see the replay. Now the goalkeeper looked more badly hurt there, and he's straight up having to go to the referee saying it's a foul. Just two players clashing, simple as that. No great malice in it. Just a bit painful, and then. Up and on we get. 
Brazil, real big support staff here. Fitness coach, physio, doctor, Asus. Working the sports code. Yellow card in the meantime. Goalkeeper can seize the penalty. Well, it looked like there was nothing for a second. Chance for Brazil to have the last word. Yeah. Well, you got to be the man that says it. Look at Brazil there, by the way. The badge they've got on their shirt. It's not the famous old badge. The old World Cup trophy in the middle of it. It's the Olympic badge. Is this is an Olympic event. We see a few teams here across the next few days wearing slightly, for one of a better phrase, strange kit, a slightly different kit. That's why Brazil are wearing that kit right now. It's an Olympic event. Three go. Yeah, man, that was it. Even sounded good against the net. Rip on the back of the net, crisp sound. And someone who's struck it with pace. There he goes again. I think someone needs to have a word with him about that tongue. Especially when he's on international television. Rodrigo wasn't put off by it though. Put it into the back of the net. Side foot, pace, accuracy, all the good stuff. Brazil had the first word with the first goal, obviously. It's probably only right they should have the last word as well. They'll be desperate with just 20 odd seconds left on the clock to get double figures. He really sends a message out to your opponents. They've got to be quick. At the moment, Morocco in possession. Looks like it's going to remain at nine. Here the crowd counting. And that is it. Well, it's clinical. It's efficient. And as Brazil do, that clinical efficiency is done with real style and swagger. The goalkeeper looks like he's been in a war, and he'll feel like it. Final score. Here at the World Beach Games. Final game of the day is Morocco 1, Brazil 9.